All right, guys. Lucas Parsons here with LGS Outdoors, and uh, we are in Fairmont, Minnesota. Here it is May 19th, and 63 degree water temp. We're in seven foot, seven foot of water, and guess what? Got my right hand man rider here with me. Got the first fish of the day, buddy. What do you think? Pretty good. All right. Well, we're gonna keep on going. We'll show you what's going on here. Stay tuned. All right. There's got another big one. We're just getting the ice rods out, jigging over the side. We're just using night crawlers today. Actually, the, the red worms, the trout worms, the smaller ones. That way they can't take them off the hook so fast. But, Ryder, what do you think? Getting it done? What yeah. are you doing out there? Just jigging over the side of the boat with a worm. With a little bit of worm on a pill key. It's in 7.6 foot of water, almost 8 foot here, 63 degrees. Having a little fun? Can't beat it. That's what I'm talking about right there. Big old gill. Ryder just got another yellow for the box. Kind of in nine foot of water, but the fish are really moving around today, but uh, it's a little early yet, so we'll keep on them. Ryder's casting now with the long rod, getting them, so. We're going to keep at her. We got a net. Excuse my language. I got a drum. Ryder's got a drum. Swing him in. Big one. Hold on, hold on, maybe not. Oh, hurry up, swing him over. There he is. That's a big one. <laughs> big one. Oh, well, he's telling you he's not happy. You got it? Look at that guy. Wow. Big drum. <laughs> that one's almost too big to eat, ain't it? You get the hook out or not? All right, well, hold him up, show everybody. There we go. I don't know. He's not bad. Yeah, we'll put him in the box. Why not? All right, well, Ryder's casting, getting it done. Nice work, buddy. Big old fat gill. Look at her. Oof, Oop, there she goes. <laughs> Dropped her. We're going to get her back. Ten foot of water, 63 degrees. Getting some fish jigging over the side. I see them moving around there. A lot of, lot more weeds. Good weed lines, good weed edges. But uh, she's still full of eggs yet, so they haven't spawned out yet. So they're getting close. See ya. Okay, guys. I know everyone's like, "Geez, why do you keep those drum?" Well, here's the pearl. I don't know if you've ever heard of that, but that's what the noise when they're making that noise. That's one of the pearls that's in the drum's head. Pretty cool. And then these are the flays we get out of these guys. Now, like I said, you can kind of see there's a little red in them right now, but once you uh, soak them, you know, once you soak them for 24 hours in the salt water, it'll get rid of all that and it'll be a nice white fillet. But you can kind of see what I've done there is I fillet the whole thing out, but then I just cut straight across and kind of treat it as like a back strap, kind of like a loin, like you would on, uh, you know, like a deer or something like that. But uh, that's what we do when we clean them, and I can tell you right now it's worth it. Oh yeah, and uh, yum yum. Look at all those yellow bass we got in there. Those babies, nice and white. Perfectly so I mean, this is one of those smaller yellow bass. Look look at the amount of, of meat you get right there. On one of those smaller, you know, five to seven inch, or that's probably a five inch right there, but that's the kind of meat that you get on those. So look at that. It is totally worth it. Same with the drum, like I said, give them a try. Uh, I guess I can kind of probably cook some up and eat them and show you guys how good they look when they're all done. But uh, that's why we do it. We had a great day today on the water. Fill in the freezer. I think we almost had, a, I think we had over over 200 fish a day between the two boats uh, out there getting some yellow bass. A lot of drum today. I don't remember how many we had. I know we had 10, 10 in my boat and I think they had 4 or 5 in the other boat that they kept. I don't know how many they actually caught, but uh, a lot of drum. Did get a few walleyes, got some bluegill, uh, a lot of smaller perch, but it uh, was a good day. But yeah, that's what these look like, guys. It's definitely worth the time to clean these drum, and they taste really, really good. So uh, just wanted to show you guys that, and then yes, yum, yum, yellow bass right there. Good stuff. These babies are going to go get washed up, get soaked for 24 hours, and either go in the pan or go right in the freezer. So that's what they look like. And like I said, you know, even the smaller fish. The little guys that you say, oh, they're small. Well, look at this meat. Look at all this meat you get. 
That's a small yellow bass, but that's more meat than you get off of a bluegill, a big bluegill, or even other fish. So, pretty cool. All right. Hey guys, we uh, just finished up. Uh, Ryder's over having a cheeseburger at Channel Inn with my cousin and my aunt, so I'm going to do this outro by myself. But uh, you know, we had a lot of fun out there. Like I said, rain's coming, so weather changed, but uh, really got on them and put the hammer into them, and boy, was it a drum day, too. We got lots of drum in here. <laughs> lots of yellows. Uh, some bigger ones, some smaller ones. Kind of mixed, but it's about as small as they get right here, so not too bad. Uh, shore bites going too. I see a lot of people fishing from shore all over the place, but definitely got when well, we got some bluegills. I uh, didn't get any crappie or anything like that. Caught a little walleye. Apparently, I messed up when I tried filming that after seeing it. Uh, <laughs> that's my bad, but uh, you know, got a lot of good things going on here. A lot of good things going on here. Bites picking up. Springtime weather beautiful. It's gonna be fun this summer coming here, getting these yellow bass caught. Uh, you know, nothing beats it. Nothing beats a nice, tasty yellow bass like this, guys. Uh, I tell you what, like I said, come to shore, get yourself a bobber and toss her out and reel it in or throw a pill key and cast right now as the fish are coming in. Uh, like I said, all those bluegills that we caught were still full of eggs, so they haven't quite spawned yet, but it's got to be close. And you know, once that spawn happens, it's going to get even better. So, but yeah, that's uh, what's going on here in Fairmont, Minnesota. So it's going to be a real short video. Didn't really get much filmed, but it was a little windy out there, so I had to be careful with that. But uh, didn't get a whole lot of film, but just wanted to show you guys what's going on. Uh, once again, we appreciate you guys, and thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.